Namaste. I'm very excited to report that I'm once again back in India for the first time in a year, which also means that I'm meeting Demnath Sir in person for the first time in a year. I'm very excited, although I'm a little sad that we couldn't meet sooner, but I'm very excited to travel to IIT Kharagpur where we'll be doing our first lecture. But before that, you know, we have to spend the entire night. So maybe we can talk about something a little bit different than math and science for now. About uh, Indian history, uh, starting from you know golden era of in science, technology, and other fields. 100 or 400 to 700, there were so many innovations being made in medicine, philosophy, and especially mathematics. Right. And mathematics in specific, you know, the zero was invented. The current numeral system was invented by many mathematicians right. in India. And so many different things were being invented all at once that a lot of people later took credit for from different areas. In fact, for a very long time, we called our current numeral system the Arabic numeral system until it was found that the, the Arabs just popularized it, which is still a big accomplishment. But the invention was done by Hindi mathematicians all the way back in four, 300 or 400. So I think this was really the time when I don't think you can call it the golden age anymore because it was really surpassed by a lot of the inventions made in the 1850s to 1950s. But, but at that time, India was the center of right. scientific innovation. Right. The golden era of India lost. Uh, well, one invader came in from the Persians and then another invader came in, I think the Umayyad Caliphate, and then another invader took over from them. And there was no stable Indian state because everybody just kept taking over the Indian lands and then they would break apart after being invaded by another force, which never gave them the time to consolidate mm -hmm. and you know, build back from the ground. And finally, the British came, started building schools and universities. So I think the Golden Age came back because the British started building schools and universities. Science, there's Prafula Chandra Roy, uh, Jagadish Chandra Bose, uh, Satyendra Nath Bose. In literature, there was, well, literature and film. Uh, there was Robin Ranath Tagore, Kazi Nazrul Islam. Who compares now, today's India, compared to the status by the and Bose and I tried to go to Bose. So what is the difference now, the Indian, I you know, the taking the lead role uh, in making the, taking the science and technology in other fields uh, in the world? Yeah, I think the main difference is both that India is now independent and also that instead of very few geniuses contributing to the scientific and technological world, now everybody is enabled to give their own little contributions to the subject. And of course, there are still geniuses that pass by and give all of their contribution and all of their heart. But now I think the contribution of everybody is more valued. And education is also more accessible. A lot of the time, there are probably a lot more geniuses that could have come from India, but they got unlucky because of how difficult education was to access at that time. But because of the independence of India and the growing equality in Indian society, I think that with education now being more accessible for everyone, not only will we get more geniuses, but even people who are, are dedicated to spending their whole life can really advance India forward in science and technology. So I think even though that time is the most remembered right now, we'll remember this time the most in 70 or 80 years. So it's really the most important. Two names, so who's taking the recent, uh, recent the, uh, Indians who taking the lead in innocence in India uh, in different fields? Yeah, I think mostly it's going to be in economics and technology. Right. So of course there's a March Ascent. It's debatable whether he can be called recent anymore, but he still produced the work. Uh, there's Abhijit Banerjee, there is Kailas Sadyarthi, right. who also does work in economics. Um, and there were so many others in both economics and technology that are really advancing the field. In mathematics and physics now, there were not as many people working in pure mathematics as there are in Europe or the US. But hopefully, well, my inspiration or my job here is to inspire more people to go into that field and change that. So thank you very much, Shubhano. You have uh, come across so many names. Uh, you know, uh, most of the names, you as Indians don't uh, know about the 